preparations on the grid are wrapping up as we brace ourselves for the start of today's big race. Seventeen corners then at the Autodromo, Hermanos Rodriguez. Ten to the right and seven to the left. And all of them will have to be tackled in difficult, wet conditions here today. No DRS assistance either, at least not for the start of the race. But the best overtaking opportunities will still be down into turn one, or shortly afterwards into turn four. Joining me for the Grand Prix once again is Anthony Davidson. Let's start by getting your take on Daniel Ricciardo. What do you make of their performance so far this season? It's been a really solid year so far. There have been some incredible standout performances, but what's really impressed me has been the consistency. With this kind of form, I'm expecting another great race today. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Daniel Ricciardo has a clear view ahead from pole position, and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Bottas, Alexander Albon, and Perez, Leclerc, Norris, Sainz, and Sebastian Vettel, Ocon, Stroll, Pierre Gasly, and Kvyat, Grosjean, Magnussen, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Kimi Raikkonen. Russell and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. What's going on, dudes? It's your dude, JB Data. Welcome back to the F1 2020 Championship. Picking up where we left off, I failed miserably in the United States Grand Prix. Couldn't tame the flat fly for the Amer Americans out there, even though it's not my home track, but I support them. Uh, couldn't support, support the skills uh, on F1 for them. But hopefully everything will change around in this Mexico uh, Mexican Grand Prix. We're here in Mexico for the Mexican Grand Prix. Um, it is wet, it is raining uh, for the Mexican Grand Prix. Did not expect wet conditions happening in Mexico. Um, because in my practice and qualifying sessions they were all dry out and I was doing very well and speaking of very well I start on pole for the F1 uh, for the Mexico Mexican Grand Prix um, not what was I was expecting um, Hamilton lines up on the front row with me um, so far in the championship season uh, I've lost the lead to Verstappen he's now 20 points ahead of me after that DNF for me and he won last race so Hopefully I can bounce back for the remaining the three races and try to beat Verstappen for the championship season. So is Hamilton. He's just one point behind me. So both me and Hamilton are trying to catch up to Verstappen. It's only one of us of the three three drivers. Nobody else is close to us. So it's still quite quite a battle. Uh, hope, hopefully, like I said, I can bounce back uh, from the United States Grand Prix and hopefully get the win here in the Mexico Grand Prix. Mexican, sorry, um, and hopefully for Stefan gets a terrible, terrible results. Uh, looking at race strategy wise, we'll be pitting. Um, actually, rain will stop midway through through the race, so I'm definitely gonna have to stay as long as possible for the intermediates. Um, I'm thinking adjusting it a bit, probably at lap 10, just in case if um, if it starts to get dry, dry and everything. Um, hopefully it will be a good results for me. I think I might get a, um, I think I might take the win, win here. Who knows? But without further ado, let's jump right in. Now, wrapping up the engine. Five lights are up. It's lights out, and away we go for the Mexican Grand Prix. And just like as always I get a great start hopefully I can pull away try to use everything as possible into the first corner now problem is I don't know how bad the wet conditions will be compared to uh, dry drier um, to the dry track so I'm just gonna have to do as best I can I'm gonna try to save up everything everything because it's gonna be a tough uh, tough racing with wet conditions but once it gets dry I'll get the hang of it 
But right now, I'm just trying my best. I'll slow down here. Wow, I just took off from from the chicane from the S's. Oh jeez. All right, coming around the final corner, completing the first lap. I'm in the lead. Hamilton in second, Verstappen in third, and Bottas in fourth, and Albon rounds up the top five. So far, it's been the top five of me and the two Mercedes and uh, Red Bull. It's very interesting. And so far, the top four have already pulled away from the pack. About three seconds off. I don't want to use too much uh, fuel mix. I want to save it for when, when I go uh, for for the dry, dry dry part of the race. So I really need need to focus and save save it enough. Uh, I messed up this. I, me I messed up the S's, but it doesn't matter. I'm still, still faster than, um, I'm still fast, faster than Hamilton for stepping in the S's. So, I guess I'm, I have the advantage on that part. But the rest, they just catch up to me. But so far, I'm not doing, not doing too bad. Okay, Hamilton is set a faster lap than me. Let's see if I can grab the fastest lap um, on this lap. Oh, I miss, I miss my breaking point there. That's okay, I can recover from this. Alright. Yep, that's what I thought. It's definitely going to dry dry out later in the race, and we'll have to switch to uh, means uh, soft tires midway. We'll see. We'll see what happens. And there we go. I pick up the fastest lap just like that. And starting to pull away too. Look at that. Four four seconds ahead of Hamilton right now. I'm wondering to see if Perez can um, can try to catch up and get into the top five because this is his home track. Hopefully he'll support support the fans out here and try to get at least a top five. See if see if it'll happen. I don't need to go any faster. So I can save my fuel mix. There we go. Okay, the 
looks like some of those puddles are clearing. We're still on the right tire for the time being, but we're not a million miles away from slick conditions. Alrighty then. So, Jeff Colt. Our gap on the car behind by around a second lap. Gotcha. Okay, so my crew, uh, my crew chief Jeff um, told me that it looks like it's not far away from slicks, um, so we'll get in there. Probably around lap nine, uh, I'll have to switch to slicks. Maybe. See what happens with wet uh, with these conditions. I think this might be the first race where we ch uh, where weather conditions change and we have to swap from wet to um, to slicks or slicks to wet. It's pretty interesting. It didn't happen not often on uh, the pre previous races. Although in the French Grand Prix, um, it was all out wet, but it started to get drier and some drivers decided to go for intermediates and I was struggling with my wet tires. But, that's racing. That stuff ha happens sometimes. Which I like that, because it give, gives a bit of a ch challenge for drivers to think on their strategy. On how they how they could pull it off. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. What's this? Uh, no, I want to stick with my strategy. This is not not quite the right time to um, go to intermediates. I want to I want to save my tires as much as I can for when for when we have. Uh, slicks on. Okay, it looks like rain is about to so, um, rain has stopped. So now I'm just waiting for the track to dry, dry up, which may take a few more laps. And I'll repeat this again. Rain has stopped. So now I'm just waiting for the track to try up enough for slicks. That's the strategy I'm going with right now. Now you say say that how I'm ahead of Hamilton by almost eight and a half now. That's crazy. Oh jeez, I forgot to break here. I got too distracted by how far I am ahead of Hamilton, and I forgot to break. Yeah, that's just crazy how of advantage I have with wet conditions to the AIs. It's really good. And I'll tell you what, with the positions running right now, if this ends up at the end of, end of the race, it'll definitely help me catch up to Verstappen. Because he's 20 points ahead, ahead of me and 21 ahead of Hamilton, so he's not too far behind me. A and, uh, is available on the MFD. uh, just give me a second, I need to get around this corner. Uh, whew. going with the... That's the sub tires. Um, actually, let me switch that up. Let's go with mediums next next time. Try to go for a long, longer run. Let's see if that that'll work. I don't know how long medium tires are, but I know that soft tires won't last to the end. So 
So now Hamilton and Verstappen have pitted. Um, Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Copy that. Uh, yeah, we'll pit this lap, but um, we'll go with uh, new medium tires. Try to go to the end. Yeah, it's definitely starting to dry out, so I definitely need to pit it immediately. So ho hopefully, I can get out ahead of Hamilton and Verstappen um, after I do my, after my pit stop. I'm definitely start starting to get slower each lap. So I definitely need to pit, pit right now. Oh jeez, I messed up this corner. Sorry for cut cutting, I just couldn't, couldn't turn. Now we just gotta get through this correct and not screw up. Okay. We're all good. Exit, exit now. Alright. Exiting my pits. I can see Hamilton the seven on um on on my um on the on the map. That was our last stop. But it looks like they're getting held up by somebody. And now coming out ahead. So Hamilton stays ahead of Verstappen. Nice, and it looks like Paris has jumped to the top five. Fans here are going to be happy about that. And I'm definitely going to be ha happy of, of my position ahead, ahead of these guys. But however, they're definitely going to ca catch up. Although running with the new medium tires is still look, most likely a bit, bit slow coming around these corners. But it's a good thing I have a gap, a um, big gap ahead of Hamilton for seven. So I definitely needed it. Alright, let's see if I can pull off a fast lap here. I know Hamilton's gonna pick up the fastest lap. The there you go. Is seconds. Ah, it doesn't look, look like the track has dried up yet. Or that I'm not quite breaking right. I need to break harder now. There we go. Oh crap. I yeah. Screwed it up big time. I got a three second time. Three second penalty for obvious corner cutting. Yeah, that was on me me there. I screwed up my corner corner entry. You're losing a small amount of time to the car behind. Keep pushing. Well now I really gotta say head head of Hamilton now. Otherwise I'm done done. I won't be able to win, win this, and I probably won't be able to beat Verstappen in the point standings. So I really got to push now. Jeez, why didn't I just take take it slow and steady around that corner better? We're a plus one lap of extra fuel. Fuel target plus one. 
We got eight laps to go. Hopefully I can stay ahead of Hamilton in three seconds now. Could have been just, um, could have been without three seconds extra, but nope. I'm glad it's not five seconds, because that would have been, that would have been worse. It's just that I can't, um, can't get around that corner very well. That's the problem. I just can't, can't see, seem to get it right. See, look at that. It's very hot. I think I might be able to get away, away, away with a head, head of the pack, even with the extra time penalty. Maybe. And the fact they're on soft tires, they might be going for a two two stop here. Maybe. I don't know. I know I can win this, I just gotta focus. Alright, good lap, 122.75, see how well Hamilton can do, uh, he's not, not fast, faster than me, so that means I can still try to stay ahead. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to um, corner cut there again, I just can't, can't I just can't seem to get it right, I did it before, I just... Sorry, I can do this though. With the extra three second time penalty, just at least four and a half seconds ahead of Hamilton, so I should be good for now. Not too bad that corner. Someone's way far. Safety car deployed. Oh Safety no! Been deployed. That's Watch that's terrible timing for me. Positive as we catch the pack. This is not looking good for me. Actually, you know what? Since since I'm like about. Eight seconds ahead of Hamilton. I'm gonna take a gamble. I'm gonna pit for new, for the used soft tires and serve my penalties. Just so, just so, so I don't lose too much to Hamilton and for Seppin. Okay, slow down. Slow Not down. sure if that's gonna work, but negative, I'll I'm gonna give it a try, guys. Reduce your pace. So it seems like Lance Stroll is out of the race. There he is, right there. Sucks to be him. I actually do feel for him. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to pick because I don't want to en end up ahead with only with a three-second time penalty and it'll cause me to um, drop. I'm gonna box this lap. lap. And with a used set of soft ties, it's def 
Definitely got to be perfect. We have five laps of fuel remaining. Okay. Needs to be a good pit stop. Come on. I don't want to fall too far behind. Go, go now. There he goes. Hamilton was stepping ahead of me. Oh, I didn't surf the time penalty. Are you kidding me? Well, that sucks. God damn it! I thought I thought my pizza would have served it. Damn it! Well, now my well now my plan failed. Well, now I wish I didn't didn't get that penalty. But hopefully I'll get a good jump on Bottas and Verstappen and Hamilton to try to get ahead of them. That means I'll have to dive bomb big uh, in the first corner. And with only three left to go after this lab, it's going to be hard. I think that's I think that corner cutting just screwed me. Wish I didn't do that. Let's just hope I can get a good jump at, oh, on these guys. Alright, so lining up on the safety car, I'm down to fourth. Hamilton leads the pack for second, second, Bottas third. With Perez in the top five, the fans definitely loving it right now. Leclerc up to six. And then. Then it's Ocon, my teammate, Albon, and the two McLarens. I'm definitely gonna need, need a good jump, jump on these guys. God, everything was go going well until till that um, corner cut cutting penalty screwed me over. And then the safety car did. And I thought I could serve the penalty at the time, but it didn't for some reason. Okay, safety car is coming in this lap. Racing again. The safety car is in this lap. When the field accelerates, remember there is no overtaking until the green flags. All right. Safety car in this lap. Safety car in this lap, which means there will be two laps to go on the restart. I definitely need to get a good jump here. There's the jump. Green flag. All right, try to use all all my power right here. Oh, ah, shoving my way across. All of a, oh, I gave the seven some damage on his front wing, and now he's going to lose a position to Bottas. I did not meet mean to do that to him on honestly I was trying to dive bomb on Bottas and for Stefan I don't, don't know if I was able to dive bomb Hamilton though so I had to back off at least a bit but I definitely need to get ahead of Hamilton here okay you're catching the car ahead but remember we need to get to the end of the race on these tires I know we'll be fine on tire tire wear I just need to get at Hamilton and try to pull off a gap. Oh 
Lena Hamilton. All right, final lap. Hamilton's in the lead. I'm gonna try and pass him here, and then try to try to pull away from all of this. I was last to the to the breaking point, and I got ahead of Hamilton. Now I just gotta pull away. Might not be enough enough to pop um to beat Hamilton for the win, but I can at least get on the podium. The seven has dropped back to fourth, so that's not good for him. Come on, baby, come on. Got to pull away. We have two laps of fuel remaining. Come on, baby, come on. Alrighty, final corner. I'm gonna beat Hamilton to the finish line, but I'm not gonna take take the win here. Hamilton wins the Mexican Grand Prix, and I will take Great second well after the We're three really second time penalty is served. But I tell you what, I'm glad it wasn't um, below third. As long as I beat Ham uh, Verstappen, that's all that matters. Which means both me and Hamilton will catch up to Verstappen in the point standings with only two races to go, which is Brazil and Abu Dhabi. Hopefully, we'll get, get good, good results out of it. It's going to be tight between me, Verstappen, and Hamilton. I guarantee you. It's almost, it's almost like um, battling Verstappen and Hamilton in real life as well. Because both of them are battling for the championship so far this season. And they're doing a good job fight, fighting out for, for the championship. Congratulations to Lewis Hamilton to winning, winning the Mexican Grand Prix here in Mexico. I'll definitely enjoy taking second. I do apologize for take, taking down the Seppins from Wayne after a late late dive bomb. But that's what you gotta do to try to win, win it. You gotta dive bomb. Let's see how the driver standings have changed. Oh my god. Today's performance means Max Verstappen now owns the top spot in the Drivers' Championship. Yeah, Verstappen so already owned the top the spot last race. race. Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? Let's give it to Esteban Ocon. That was a Hey, my teammate gets driver of the day as well. Let's Congratulations to, to him. Mercedes so looking at um, the results, Hamilton wins the Mexican Grand Prix. I take second after serving the three second time penalty. I get the fastest lap as well, so I'm happy with that. Valtteri Bottas takes third. Max Verstappen drops to fourth. Sergio Perez rounds out the top five uh, here at his home track, so the fans definitely enjoy that. Sean Leclerc takes sixth. My teammate Esteban Ocon seventh. Alexander Albon eighth. Lando Norris ninth. And Carlos Sainz rounds up the top ten. So now looking at the standings, I drop back to third after Hamilton winning the race, and I take second. But we'll be getting closer to Verstappen. He's only eight points ahead of Hamilton and thirteen points ahead of me. Um, so it's going to be tight. I guarantee you. Uh, for the next two races, I definitely need to win the next two races. Otherwise, I'll be done for this. But I guarantee you, I'm definitely going to be happy with the results at the end, no matter what. As long as I get a top four finish for Renault, I will take take it for the, for the standings. Um, Construct the standings definitely stay the same, so there's no... Um, difference of it, but yeah, hopefully we'll get a good results next race. So thank you guys for watching Make sure you subscribe on the hell's channel goal if you guys like the videos Make sure you hit that like button if you guys you know suggestions make sure to comment down below next episode We're gonna continue on the championship season We're down to two races to go the next race will be the Brazilian Grand Prix in Brazil And then it will be the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix in Abu Dhabi Hopefully we'll get the win for both races in order to win this competition it's going to be very tight, I guarantee you, between me, Lewis Hamilton, and Max Verstappen. Hopefully, I'll get a good results out, out of these last few races, and hopefully, I'll win this competition. But until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.